Today we are exploring Long Island and some of its oddities, uh, your roadside attractions if you will, and we're starting with an interesting lighthouse with no water. So this is officially the Long Island Welcome Center located about exit 52 on the LAE. Which is about halfway into Long Island. So we figured we'd start off with this one. Let's look around. As you approach the entrance to the tourist center, there is the Long Island Walk of Fame. Gotta get this. This is someone who's played tuba on Broadway. Probably the most famous people from Long Island, Mariah Carey. Billy Joel! Also at the Welcome Center, you have a little play area for the kids, the pet comfort area behind the building. Inside the building, you can get the piece of New York specialties, and there's even a couple of electric vehicle charging stations. First on our list is a cement sphinx, located at a concrete store in Bayport. It was built in the early 1900s by Captain Will Graham and was originally placed outside of the Anchorage Inn. On the base of the relic, it states, She who climbs to the Sphinx's head, a millionaire will surely wed. Do you want to build a snowman? Number 9 on our list is Mr. Millennium. This 20-foot tall snowman was built in 2000 for the new millennium. Although someone should really tell the artist that millennium is spelled with two N's. Next on our list is a giant rooster located at a poultry farm. It brings out the immature child in all of us who want to make a comment about the giant, you know. If you are from Long Island, you will have no trouble saying the town name of Massapequa, where Big Chief Lewis stands accompanied by a totem pole, buffalo, and horse. Number 6 on our list is Chief Running Fair. This Native American version of a muffler man was purchased in 1982 from the Danbury Fair. It now stands at the entrance to the Riverhead Raceway. Number five brings us to Dan's Country, where publisher Dan Ratnair is seen riding a seven foot tall lobster. Fun fact, the figure of Dan was repurposed from a John Wayne statue. If number five didn't creep you out, take a look at our number four. This is known as the Windmill House. This looks like something that would come straight out of a horror movie. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd want to live here. Perhaps one of the most recognized sculptures on Long Island, the Stargazer comes in at number three on our list. While the completed sculpture is a beauty, especially during sunset, the unfortunate damage from a summer storm and the conflict over a land lease and repair costs leaves this sculpture with a questionable future. This quirky structure sits on the edge of the property of a veterinary hospital. Originally built in the 1920s by Harry Fleming, over the years it has been used to sell gas, candy, ice cream, and plants. The witch's hat was restored in 2014. Here's the witch's hat, and here's a little walk inside. Not too much to see. Oh, that's pretty cool though. The big duck. Quack, quack. 
What the duck is going on? Quack, quack. It's like a little shop in there. Listen, there's a paper on it saying closed. But you can see inside, like a nice glass door. So we're gonna have to check out, see what's going on. Museum, gift shop, East and Info. There's like the uh, captain's quarters back there. Looks like the duck's butt is a cellar of some sort. Let's walk around in front. Temporarily closed. But if you peek inside, it's a little, little shop. Fun fact about the duck, the eyes are made of tail lights from a Model T Ford. And at nighttime, they glow red. Thank you for joining Stellbot Adventures on today's episode of Tales, Tips, and Tidbits. We hope you enjoyed our top 10 list of quirky Long Island roadside attractions. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have ever been to any of these, or have recommendations of a roadside oddity near you, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click that notification button and we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>